Hi friends, very good morning all of you. Welcome back to CAP classes. So in our series of last minute revision of accounting standards, today we are going to look at accounting standard 11. What is accounting standard 11? AS 11 is the effects of changes in foreign currency items. Okay. So let us look at problem number one. Kaleem Limited borrowed US dollars 4,50,000 on 1-1-2016 which will be repaid as on 31-7-2016. Kaleem Limited prepares financial statements ending on 31-3-2016. The rate of exchange between reporting currency Indian rupees and foreign currency US dollars on different dates are as under. So if you look at the problem, there are three important dates. One is the date on which you borrowed. Second one is the balance sheet date. Third one is the date of repayment. So on the first day, one US dollar is 48 rupees. On the second day, one US dollar is 49 rupees. On the third day, one US dollar is 49 rupees 50 paise. So how this items will be recorded in our financial statements. Okay. So shall we do it? So put the heading in the books of Kaleem Limited. In the books of in the books of Kaleem Limited. Journal entries. So first we need to write the journal entry for borrowing money what is the journal entry when you borrowed money bank account debit to foreign currency loan account bank account debit how much four lakh fifty thousand dollars into 48 rupees to foreign currency loan account so how much it is is equal to four lakh fifty thousand dollars into 48 rupees so this comes to uh, 2 crore 16 lakhs okay this is the first entry on 1-1 one, one. when this happened on 1-1-2016 one, one, on 31-12 on 31-3-2016 you are preparing on 31-3-2016 you are preparing balance sheet on the date of balance sheet monetary items are to be converted into indian rupees using the closing rate what is the closing rate 49 rupees what is the monetary item here foreign currency loan account so what we do is one rupee loss we recognize why i borrowed when dollar is 48 rupees today it is 49 rupees so when i am repaying i need to pay more so i borrowed money then foreign currency exchange rate has increased so i need to pay more money now it is a loss to me so how will i recognize foreign currency foreign exchange loss i recognize foreign exchange difference foreign exchange difference how much four lakh fifty thousand into one rupee how one rupee today it is 49 when i borrowed it was 48 only so that one rupee is the loss four lakh fifty thousand and i will increase my liability to foreign currency loan four lakh fifty thousand now finally on 31 7 2016 i am repaying money how much i am repaying i am repaying at 49 rupee 50 paise another 50 paise loss is there so on four lakh fifty thousand into 50 paise another two lakh twenty five thousand loss is there foreign exchange difference so how much it is for four lakh fifty thousand into forty nine point five minus forty nine. Earlier I recorded forty nine. Now another half rupee loss. So two lakh twenty five thousand. Then I write foreign currency loan. How much four lakh fifty thousand into forty nine rupees. So originally forty eight and I added one more rupee. So it will be this amount plus this amount. So in my ledger account already I have 2 crores 20 lakhs 50,000 rupees to bank account. Now easily you can identify whether you are doing wrong or right. 4 lakh 50,000 into 49.5 rupees you are paying. Okay. So on the date of repayment you are paying how much? 4 lakh 50,000 into 49.5. Okay, now easily you can identify whether your answer is correct or no. So 2205 000 plus 225000. So your credit balance is same. So this is how we should record this transaction. First one, on the date of entering the loan into your books, use the actual transaction rate. On the date of balance sheet, monetary items will be converted into Indian currency using the exchange rate prevailing on the balance sheet date. That is what we call closing rate. On the date of repayment, that is another transaction. You record the transaction at the actual rate 49 rupees 50 paise. Any difference 
you know between the uh, borrowed uh, loan and the revalued loan will go to p and l that's it this is our question number 1 without wasting time shall we go to question number 2 opportunity limited purchased an equipment costing 24 lakhs on 1/4/2015 and the same was fully financed by a foreign currency loan that is in us dollars payable in four annual equal installments okay exchange rates were 1 dollar is equal to 60 rupees and 62 rupees 50 paise as on 14 2015 and 313 2016 respectively first installment was paid on 313 2016 the entire difference in foreign exchange has been capitalized the entire difference is capitalized you are required to state how these transactions would be accounted for very important question all of you read the question carefully once read the question carefully once there are two questions on the same model okay so <clears throat> what is your loan on what is the date 14 2015 okay on 14 2015 foreign currency loan 24 lakhs divided by on the day when you borrowed it is 60 rupees 60 okay that comes to how much 24 lakhs divided by 60 24 lakhs no one more zero divided by 60 so you borrowed 40000 dollars so how much this is Forty thousand dollars. So you borrowed forty thousand dollars. Okay. Then on thirty one three two thousand sixteen dollar rate is one dollar is equal to one dollar is equal to sixty two rupee fifty paise. That means there is a loss. Okay. So loss foreign currency loss foreign currency exchange loss is equal to forty thousand dollars. Into closing rate sixty two point five minus opening rate sixty, that comes to one lakh. So you understand there is a loss of one lakh rupees. So simple step one you borrowed money. How much you borrowed twenty four lakhs. At what rate you borrowed sixty rupees. So how many US dollars are borrowed forty thousand. Step one is clear. Step two on the balance sheet date what happened sixty rupees you borrowed when you borrowed the exchange rate was sixty on the closing date it is sixty two fifty paise. That means now your liability will increase. So your loan has become you know twenty five lakhs. Your loan has become twenty five lakhs. So this is foreign currency exchange loss one lakh. Now how to do this? As per accounting standard eleven, foreign currency loan is a monetary item. So it should be revalued using closing rate. and the profit or loss should be recognized in pnl account foreign currency gain or foreign currency loss should be recognized in pnl account therefore rupees 1 lakh is to be recognized in pnl account as in pnl account as foreign exchange loss this is the answer however there is a very 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 important notification passed by ministry of corporate affairs which added section 46a to accounting standard 11 so in accounting standard 11 ministry of corporate affairs has added one para through a notification what is that if you borrow any loan in foreign currency for acquisition of fixed assets which are depreciable there is an option given what is the option you may capitalize foreign exchange gains or losses and depreciate it along with fixed asset so that 1 lakh rupees of loss is there no so if you are not exercising this option given by ministry of corporate affairs you can charge it to pnl if you want to exercise this option this 1 lakh rupees will be capitalized to the asset and then depreciation will be charged so if you are not availing that option what happens you know fixed asset account debit because you are buying fixed asset to foreign currency loan so you borrowed how much 40000 dollars into 
forty thousand dollars into sixty rupees. That is twenty four lakhs. Twenty four lakhs. Twenty four lakhs. Okay. So this is first journal entry. Second journal entry is foreign currency loss, foreign exchange loss, account debit to foreign currency loan. To foreign currency loan. How much? One lakh. One lakh. So now these are two journal entries I need to pass. Now if I am not exercising the option given by Ministry of Corporate Affairs, profit and loss account debit to foreign exchange loss, one lakh. Okay. So this is one journal entry. So being loss on foreign exchange. foreign exchange loss being forex loss recognized in pnl this is normal accounting treatment this is normal accounting treatment however if the company opts to capitalize the foreign exchange losses or gains pursuant to para 46a of accounting standard 11 then you will capitalize the loss then what happens fixed assets account debit 1 lakh to to foreign exchange loss 1 lakh now fixed asset originally it is 24 lakhs in your books add foreign exchange loss 1 lakh now fixed asset closing balance in your books is 25 lakhs on 25 lakhs you will provide depreciation now you understand so if you if you exercise the option it will become this accounting this is when you want to avail the option given if you do not want to avail the option you will charge that 1 lakh rupees of loss to pnl simple this is very important question already given in the exam so you be careful second question is there no then one more question is there as it is same question so look here illustration 6 year limited purchased fixed assets costing 300 lakhs on 11 2016 and the same was fully financed by a foreign currency loan in us dollars payable in three annual equal installments exchange rate 1 dollar 40 rupees and 42 rupees 50 paisa on 11 2016 and 31 12 2016 respectively first installment was paid on 31 12 2016 entire foreign entire difference in foreign exchange has been capitalized you are required to state how this transaction should be accounted for copy paste copy paste like your previous problem now take 3000 lakhs divided by 40 rupees so you borrowed 75 lakh dollars okay into 2 rupees 50 paise that means 187.5 lakh rupees of foreign currency loss is there if you do not avail 46a exemption charge it to pnl if you avail that exemption that uh, notification 187.5 uh, lakh rupees can be capitalized foreign exchange loss can be capitalized to asset this problem is over now let us go back so this uh, third problem is on foreign currency translation foreign currency translation means what you will take the account uh, this uh, trial balance of your uh, foreign operations and you will convert that into indian rupees okay so this is in detail explained in your branch and departmental accounting but as a fast track revision i'll do it here for you a business having head office in kolkata has a branch in uk the following trial balance Uh, of branch as at 313 2016 2016 fixed assets purchased on 14 5000 5000 pounds they are giving it in pounds so fixed assets how will you convert actual transaction date debtors closing rate opening stock opening rate goods received from head office actuals 6100 they have given in pounds and 4 lakh 2000 actuals given so record actuals sales 20000 average rate purchases average rate wages average rate salaries average rate cash closing rate remittances to head office actual as per head office books head office account as per head office books closing stock 700 is there depreciation 10% whatever the rate you are using to convert fixed assets that is fixed asset transaction rate depreciation also will be same rate okay prepare the trial balance exchange rate of pound 142013 opening 61 this should be used for opening stock 142015 no this 142013 is the date on which fixed assets purchased so that fixed assets 5000 will be converted at 61 rupees 
Then on 1-4-2015-63, opening stock, 31-3-2016-67. Okay, now average rate, 63 plus 67 by 2, you can do, it will be 65 rupees. You can take that for, you know, salaries, this wages paid, then rents if they are there, then purchases, then sales, all these things. So look there, fixed assets, 5,000. They used transaction date rate, 61. Debtors closing rate. So observe this column, observe this middle column. Debtors closing rate. Opening stock, opening rate. Goods received from head office, actual. Sales, purchases, wages, salaries, average rate. Then cash, closing rate. Remittance, actual. Head office ledger account, actual. Creditors, closing rate. Difference, whatever comes, that will be foreign exchange gain or loss. That's all. Problem is over. So more details about this. Already, you know, you might have studied in your uh, branch and departmental accounts. Okay. So illustration four. Rao Limited purchased a plant for US dollars 1 lakh on 1st February 2016, payable after 3 months. Company entered into a forward contract for 3 months at a rate of 49.15 per dollar. Exchange rate per dollar on 1st February was 48.85. How will you recognize the profit or loss on forward contract in the books of Rao Limited? First, close your eyes, recollect what accounting standard 11 says about the forward exchange contracts and their accounting treatment. Now, look here, many students are confused in this area. I'll tell you, it is very simple. Forward contracts are of two types. One, hedging. Second one, speculation. So, before the expiry, before the expiry, see, you bought a forward contract for three months. Before the expiry, you are selling, you are a trader. You want to speculate with the foreign currency and you want to earn money. Even I do that. Okay, hedging means you actually need dollars and you need to pay someone. For that, you are taking a forward contract to protect yourself from exchange risk. That is called hedging. Sir, how will I know in the problem whether this forward contract is for a hedging or whether it is for speculation? Simple. If on the date of expiry of the exercise of the contract, if the problem, you know, if you are, uh, if the company is exercising it, it is for hedging. Or if they give that, you know, uh, goods are purchased or, you know, a machine is purchased and they need to pay in foreign currency for that they entered into a forward contract, it is hedging. And in any problem, they say, you know, in on so and so date, uh, X Limited entered into a forward contract for three months. Before three months, if X Limited sold the contract, it is speculation. Now, what is the accounting for hedging? For hedging, exercise price less exercise price less spot rate. So imagine exercise price is 65. Spot rate is 60. So this five rupees is there, no? This is called premium or loss. So this you have to multiply with number of US dollars in the contract, you will get total loss. This total loss should be recognized in PNL on time proportion basis. This total loss should be recognized in PNL on time proportion basis. For example, if it is a three months contract, one month falling in this accounting year, two months falling in that accounting year. So the total loss will be apportioned between these two accounting years in the time proportion ratio. If it is for speculation, simple, selling rate less buying rate is profit or loss recognize that in pnl ignore premium paid so whatever premium you paid on entering into the contract you will not consider because it is speculation simple my closing rate minus opening rate did i earn profit did i earn loss did i incur any loss suffer any loss whatever it is take it to pnl that's all so we'll do one problem on hedging one problem on speculation so rao limited purchased a plant that means this is for Hedging. So what is forward rate? What is forward rate? Look at the problem. Tell me what is forward rate. Okay, 49.5. 49.15. That is also known as exercise price. 49.15. So what is the spot rate? 48.85. 48.85. That means there is a loss. How much of loss? Per one you know uh, dollar it is 0 0.3 loss total number of us dollars how many number of us dollars this contract is for 1 lakh us dollars so total premium paid or total loss total premium paid or total loss is 30000 now you bought it on 1st february 
three months so february and march are falling in this accounting year april is falling in that accounting year so so for the accounting year for the accounting year or financial year 2000 ending 31 3 2016 ending 31 3 for the accounting year ending 31 3 2016 proportionately for two months loss is to be recognized how much it is 30,000 divided by three months in that three months two months are falling here that means 20,000 so 20,000 will be recorded as foreign currency loss in 2015-16 financial year 2016-17 financial year that means next year april 10,000 rupees will be recognized as loss that's all so this problem is over that's it then the next one is on speculation mr a bought a forward contract for three months of us dollars one lakh on first december at one us dollar is equal to 47 rupee 10 paisa when exchange rate was us dollar one is equal to 47.02 so they have paid 0.08 premium on 31st December, when he closed his books, exchange rate was 1 US dollar is equal to 47.15. Okay. On 31st Jan, he decided to sell the contract. Hold on. Three months contract. Bought on 1st December. That means December, January, February. February ending should be the exercise, you know, date. But he sold in Jan. That means it is speculation. And he sold the contract at 47.18. So simple what is selling rate 47.18 okay what is his buying rate he bought it at 47.10 47.10 profit or loss profit so he earned a profit so number of us dollars one lakh total profit how much eight thousand this eight thousand should be recognized as a profit in your p and that's all Simple now, five marks. This chapter is over. Sixth one also we have done. Seven is a theory question. You know how you need to do the translation and all. It is there. So with this we have completed this standard S11. So in the next uh, video I'll make the other standards.